Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Shop My Stash video. If you're unfamiliar with what these videos are, essentially what I'm doing is taking my everyday makeup drawer, which is what you're seeing here, and swapping the products out with products from my larger makeup collection, which is right there. I haven't done one of these in a while. And in fact, this might be one of the last ones I do before we move. So we're moving in May. Today it's April like 6th or something like that. So I might try to do one more. It's just, it's going to be really hard for me to film here pretty soon because we have so much going on. But I'm going to try. But anyways, um, I'm hoping to swap some stuff out for lots of spring colors. Um, it's springtime right now and I love spring makeup. Spring and fall are my favorite. So um, yeah, let's stop blabbing and just get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and pull out the products that I know I definitely wanna swap out first. So first things first, this was part of my project pan that is now over. I just need to film the exit video, which I think I'm gonna do tomorrow. Um, but this is my Lancome Tant Idol Ultra Foundation. It's my favorite, but it's really, really old and it is time to say goodbye to it. So I'm just gonna take it out and put it with my uh, products that I plan on filming with tomorrow. But I do need to get a new foundation to replace that one with. Um, I also have this Hourglass Stick Foundation in here. I'm going to leave this in here. I did try it again, and I didn't really like it. And then I haven't tried it again since then. So I'm just going to try it one more time before I say bye-bye to it. And then I have a couple of primers that just kind of live back there that I'm not going to touch. Actually, one of these is a CC cream. It's my IT Cosmetics CC cream. I haven't been using CC creams a lot lately. Um, but I like to use this one when I do like to use one. In fact, this is the only one I have. I do have a tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier, but those are the two I kind of swap between, and this is the right shade for me right now, so that's going to stay in there. And then this is just the Too Faced Up Peachy Primer. I'm actually going to put that with this one because this is a new one that I just, just, just put in my drawer. Um, you guys might be able to see right over there I have a Sephora bag. I did do some shopping at Sephora recently. My sister was in town, and we always do a lot of makeup shopping when we're together. Um, I also have the Farsali primer in there that I might pull in, but I definitely want to try this one out. Um, I've had this one for a little while, but I just recently put it like in my drawer. So that's staying there. Um, this Tatcha primer, I think I'm going to swap this out or put it back um, to make room for the Farsali one that's in the Sephora bag. I love this primer. I've been using it like crazy, but because I've been using it like crazy, I'm just going to put it away and show some other primers some love. As far as eye primers go, um, I have two. So I originally put the Catrice one in here to give it a try. I realized I don't like it. I thought I liked it, but then I noticed that my eyeshadow was creasing really, really bad when I used this one. So I might actually... I'm going to keep it because I don't think it's horrible, but I do think for a drugstore eye, um, eyeshadow primer, go for the CoverGirl one. I think it's a lot better. So because I found that I didn't like this one, I actually pulled in the NARS one. This is just the clear, translucent NARS eyeshadow base. I am going to swap this one out because I have the colored version that I want to try a little bit more. So I'm going to swap that one out as well. And then I have a paint pot in here. I actually don't use this very much, but anytime I'm doing like a really intense eyeshadow look, I'll pull this in. So I'm going to leave that in there. Um, as far as concealers go, this is empty. I mean, you can probably, well, maybe you can't tell. It's empty. I actually need to put it with my empty products. So I'm going to put that kind of with the Lancome one there. Um, and then I've been mixing these two together every day. So this is the uh, Fenty Beauty and the... Too Faced uh, Born This Way concealer. So the Fenty one is a little bit too light and then the Too Faced one is actually exactly my skin color. So when I mix them together, it's perfect for under eyes. But again, I've been using those a lot, so I'm gonna swap those out. Um, as far as setting my under eyes, I've been using this NARS. Um, I think when I did my last Shop My Stash, I had pulled in this Besame uh, powder. I hate this powder, you guys. <laughs> It is not good at all. It makes my under eyes look so bad. So I'm actually going to toss this one as well. Um, I just wanted to keep it in my drawer for the purpose of this video so I can tell you guys about it. So I pulled this one in instead. And you can see I've actually, you can kind of see pan on it. So I'm going to swap this one out. I think I'm going to try like a loose powder to set my under eyes with this time. 
And then as far as powder foundation goes, I have my Kat Von D. This is my favorite. They discontinued this. Um, I have just a little bit left. I've hit pan. I'm just going to keep it so I can finish it. So that's what I have for face products. Um, as far as eye products go, I've been using this Tartlet and Bloom so much. It's perfect for springtime, actually, but... Because I've been using it so much, like I have almost hit pan, you can see a really big dip in that color right there. These two colors right here are my favorite, but because I've been using it so much, I'm going to swap it out and pull in another like mini-sized palette that I can kind of keep in this drawer for quick makeup. Um, these eye, sh uh, eye brow powders I actually used to fill in my hairline. This was part... Oh no! I think my project pan one I actually put away. Okay. Um, I didn't realize this one was in there. Okay, well, I'll leave it in there. The Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder, but I've actually been using the Brow Zings to fill in my hairline recently. I'll just leave them both in there. These will probably just live in here. I don't have a lot of brow powder, so I'll probably just switch between those two. Um, as far as eyeliner goes, this is another product I pulled in during my last Shop My Stash that I really did not like at all. It's the Burt's Bees Eyeliner. Um, I just, it's not good, you guys. It's not creamy. It's very hard. It doesn't blend. I felt like I was tugging at my eyes. It's not very pigmented. Um, so I'm actually going to probably toss that as well. Um, so because I didn't like that one, I ended up pulling in the Urban Decay 24-7 um, as my black eyeliner. And I do really like this. Um, I am going to swap it out, though, because I have been showing it lots of love. Um, I did pull this Tarte one in to use as my black eyeliner. However, I just much prefer pencil liners, and the pencil liner on this is so tiny because it's supposed to be one of those like dual-sided, um, like pencil liner on one side and then liquid liner on the other. I think it's meant more for like your waterline, but mostly for the liquid like on your top line. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back just because I do much prefer pencil liner. Um, so there's that. This is actually empty. I need to put this with my empties. It's the Benefit Precisely My Brow. So because I ran out of that, I ended up pulling in a Brow Wiz, and somehow I always end up with more than one Brow Wiz open. I don't even know how. I haven't been traveling lately, so I don't know. I don't know how I ended up with two. Oh, you know what? It's because this one is gone. Okay. That explains it, so that needs to go in my empties. Um, I'm gonna keep this one in here. I also have this Benefit Brow Contour Pro clicky pencil thingy. Um, I don't use this as much as I probably should, so maybe I should leave it in there so I use it a little bit more. Um, I forgot this was in here for black eyeliner. This is my Makeup Forever Aqua XL. I'm actually gonna leave this in here as my black eyeliner because I didn't realize it was in there and I'd like to use it, so. Um, that'll be my black eyeliner, and then for brown eyeliner, I've been using this NARS, um, Larger Than Life. I think this is just really old because it is one of those pencils that's been, like, tugging at my eyes, and I don't love it. I'm still gonna keep it, but I'm just gonna swap it out for now for a different brow, um, not brow pencil, eyeliner, <laughs> brown eyeliner. And then for mascara, I have my Charlotte Tilbury. I only like to keep one, maybe two mascaras open at a time. So I'm going to keep that in there. I don't want to like put it back and then have it go bad and not finish it. Prior to that, I was using this Lancome that is pretty much dried out. So I'm actually going to put that with my empties as well too. So I have lots of empty products in here. Um, that's all that. This lip balm just kind of lives in there and this is a brow setter. As far as glitter eyeshadow goes, this Stila one is what I have been using. It's Stila Kitten Karma. I'm going to swap it out. I do love it, but again, I'm just gonna, I need, oh, this is in here too, I forgot, okay. Clearly, I <laughs> have products in here that I forget about. This Benefit Cabral, usually I will partner this with my Brow Wiz. However, I haven't been using it a lot lately just because it's so much quicker and faster for me to just use the Brow Wiz. But I do love the Cabral as well, um, and I'll usually do this when I'm trying to make my brows look a little bit more polished, like when I'm filming. But just like when I'm getting ready for work and stuff, it just takes too much time, so... I am going to leave it in there um, so it's easily accessible if I want to use it. And then as far as cream eyeshadows go, I have this Natasha Denona Crystal Top Coat in... Oh, Bad to the Bronze or something like that? Some sort of bronze. 
metal bronze. Um, I'm going to swap it out. It's just a little bit too dark for the springtime. I like more like champagne-y colors, but I did use it a lot and I do like it. Um, this is Charlotte Tilbury Rose Gold. I did love this. I actually didn't use it that much, but I did use it a few times and I did really like the color. But I'm going to swap it out for something else. And then Hourglass Aura. I just love this stuff so much. Anytime I put it back in my collection, I end up pulling it back out just because I love it so much. So I'm going to leave it in there just to save myself the trouble of having to fish it out. <laughs> because I'm inevitably going to. Um, for cheap products, some of these, a lot of these products just live in this drawer because they're too big to actually like fit anywhere else. So my Hourglass palette... Um, I've been using this a lot lately, actually. The highlighter in here I've been using quite frequently. And then this yellow one I've been using to kind of set my under eyes a little bit. But I'm going to swap it out for my other Hourglass palette so I can show that one some love. Um, as far as bronzers go, these two bronzers kind of just live in this drawer because the packaging is so big. But I've been using this Marc Jacobs one a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, you guys. I actually hit pan on it. I've been using it so much. Um, I'm going to pull in a new one. But um, that one's still going to stay in the drawer because, again, it lives here. And then same with the NARS. You can see I hit pan on it. I've been using these two bronzers a ton. So I think it's time to show a new bronzer some love. Um, I've also been using this Clinique Cheek Pop, cheek, blah, blah, <laughs> cheek Pop Palette a lot. Um, I talked about this in my March Favorites. You can see I've been using it to death. I love this palette. It's actually perfect for spring, but I am going to swap it out with something else because... I've used it a lot. It's time to show some other products some love. Um, this one, it lives in this drawer and I always forget about it, but I found it the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. So this is Hourglass Dim Infusion and it was like pushed way, way back there and then it kind of like scooted itself up a little bit. Um, I love to use this to set my foundation with if I'm wearing liquid foundation. And it's actually perfect for springtime because it kind of gives you a little bit of a glowy, luminous look. So I'm going to leave it in here, but I'm going to swap it over to my face side, my, my like powders and stuff like that so that I remember to use it to set my face. And then as far as highlighters go, I have this Hourglass one, my favorite, probably my holy grail. I'm going to put it back and swap it out with something else. And then <clears throat> this... um. Lancome or Estee Lauder? Lancome. Uh, dual finish highlighter is so pretty. Um, it does have a little bit of a golden-y undertone to it. So I'm going to swap it out for something else. And then as far as blushes go, Tarte's Exposed just lives in here. This is my favorite. I use this on days when I'm not too sure what else to wear. So I'm going to keep it in there. And then I am going to swap these two blushes out. I have Chanel Innocence, which is a nice kind of nudie pink. And then I have NARS right here. This one is in the color Doucier. I wore this quite a bit as well. So time to swap it out. Okay, so I'm sorry about the lighting, but I moved the camera so you can see the drawers and it's just a little bit off. So maybe that'll help a little bit, maybe. Um, okay, so as far as foundation goes um, and concealer, so this is my foundation and concealer drawer. I, hmm, I kind of want to pull in, so springtime, I just kind of want a little bit more lightweight. Maybe I'll pull in my MAC. I have not used these in a while. Actually, I haven't used them since my wedding. So this is NW13, and then I have NW15, but it's the Studio Fix Foundation. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this in for my foundation. And then for concealer, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. I keep clearing my throat and sniffing. Those allergies are just getting me this time of the year. Um, so for concealer, let's see. I just bought a new drugstore concealer. It's the Maybelline one. Um, I'm about to film a haul with that here in a second. So you guys will see that soon in a makeup haul. But I think I'm going to pull in my Charlotte Tilbury it's just nice and lightweight, um, and it works really well for, like, lightweight kind of makeup. So I'm going to pull that one in, and then I will use the Maybelline one, too, as soon as I haul that. Okay, this lighting might be a little bit better. If it's not, I'm so sorry, guys. So for eyeshadow primer, here's the tinted NARS I was telling you about. 
So the NARS Smudge Proof, the translucent one, honestly is like a holy grail product for me. Um, but this one is like a tinted undertone. I've used it once in a tutorial and I haven't used it again since. So that's going to be my eye shadow primer. And then I also have powders and blushes in here and other primers. So I have two primers in my drawer right now. I have the Cover FX Gripping and then the Peach one by Too Faced. So I think that with the Farsali one is enough for facial primers. Um, so I think I'm good on the primer side. But I do need a setting powder for my under eyes uh, because I have the dim infusion for all over my face. So for under eyes, I kind of want to pull in one of these loose ones. I have so many loose powders and I don't use them as much as I really feel like I should because I have so many of them. So maybe I will pull in... I love the Too Faced one. I might pull in the Too Faced one. Oh, you know what? This Hourglass one I haven't used in a while. And I, I hear people like Samantha Ravendahl, she's one of my favorite um, bloggers here, uses this to set her under eyes and she loves it. So I'm gonna pull that in to set my under eyes. And I think that's good. It's a primer. Um, okay, actually, I'm gonna pull in no, you know what? I think I'm going to pull in a Charlotte Tilbury cheek palette. So these are my blushes that are too big to fit in my blush drawer. I was going to pull one of those in, but I think I'll hold off for now. Um, this is my highlighter drawer. So this is the highlighter I just put back. I have highlighters and bronzers in here. I kind of want to pull in this Too Faced highlighter. It's such a big package, but it's so pretty, you guys. And I haven't used it that much since I got it. So I have the diamond one, and then I have the fancy pink diamond one. So this one's just a little bit more like on the peachy side. Kind of hard to see with this lighting. But I think I'm going to pull in this one to use. And then maybe I'll pull in one more highlighter. I don't have many highlighters. Well, that's kind of a lie. These are highlighters and these are all highlighters. Um... You know what, I also just got a new highlighter too from Bobbi Brown. I found it at TJ Maxx. That's in that Sephora bag on my vanity. So I'll hold off and that'll be the other highlighter I pull in. Um, as far as bronzers go, I kind of wanted, I've been thinking a lot about Hoola lately. I don't know why, but I have. So I think I'm gonna pull Hoola in. This is a new one, brand new one. Look at that. So I think I'm gonna pull this one in, and then of course I have those two other ones in there that I love. Um, so yeah, that, that'll work. I'll pull Hula in. So that's good for that drawer. Um, blushes, so I like to have a pink toned blush and a peach toned blush. That way I just have a little bit of everything. So, and then sometimes I'll pull in like a nude toned blush as well. Oh, I love my blush drawer. I just, it's so satisfying for me to open this and look at it, it's so pretty. Um, okay, so for pinky blushes, let's see, I kind of want to pull in, you know what, maybe one, oh, you know what, let's do this Too Faced one. I haven't used these Too Faced ones in a while. This one's Justify My Love by Too Faced. I'll pull that one in, and then for a peachy blush... Um, but you know what? I actually have one of these Burberry ones. I haven't, yeah, look at that. I haven't used this one. Ooh, and it's pinky. Okay, I'm going to put the Too Faced one back, and the Burberry one is going to be my pink one. Oh, it smells so good. It has like a fresh scent to it. And then for peachy blushes, maybe I'll pull in this Tarte one. I think this one's called Celebration. Yeah, just a pretty kind of like nude peach, celebrated. Okay, that's good. And then I like to pull in a face palette also, so I'll get more blushes, of course, from that. Um, for eyes, I hope that you guys can see this drawer okay. Hmm, okay, so I have a black eyeliner in there for brown eyeliner. Let's see. Um, how about this 
Mac Teddy. I haven't used that in a while. So, whoops, I'll pull in Mac Teddy. Um, for a cream eyeshadow, I have a lot of Chanel eyeshadows back here that I really want to use before they go bad. Um, my mom and I were just talking about this the other day because she has a bunch too and she said that they're starting to dry up on her. Um, well, I was hoping to get like a champagne colored one. These are all really dark colors. This one is like a taupey, which actually is probably really pretty for springtime. Yeah, that one's, yeah, I'll pull this one in. So it's Max Bounce Around. And then, you know what, I'm gonna pull this one in too. Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. It's not a cream, it's like a pressed pigment, but I'm gonna pull that one in too, because I haven't used that one in a while. So, okay. So that's good from here. For now, um, and as you can see, I obviously don't stick to my shop my stash. I pull things in all the time, but this is just like a good baseline for me. Um, for mascaras, I have my Charlotte Tilbury. I think I want to try this CoverGirl one too, so I'm gonna pull this in. The thing with mascaras, I found is it's like I feel like you have to use them a couple of times and then let them dry out for a week or two and then use them again. So I'll use this one and then while this one's kind of drying out, I'll continue to use my Charlotte Tilbury. I just want to get this CoverGirl one started. I haven't used that one yet. So there's that. Maybe I'll pull in some stick shadows because it's been a little while since I've used a stick shadow. Oh, so pretty. So this is Lancome Plantain. Plantain. Definitely want to pull that one in. And this is Lancome. Oh, I can't say that. Number one, we'll just say that. Okay, that's the champagne -y color I was looking for. Okay, I'm gonna pull those two in. Um, next drawer is my eyeshadow palette drawer. So I put my Tartlet and Bloom back. Um, honestly, I've been using my too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette a lot, like a lot, a lot, as well as this one. But because I've been using it so much, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, you know what, I might not pull in a palette. So sometimes I pull in a palette, sometimes I don't. This drawer, it's so convenient for me. I mean, my Alex Nine drawers is right next to my vanity, so I can just lean over and grab a palette whenever I want to. Um, so I might just do that, so I can kind of use, I have a lot that are perfect for spring, like my peach palette. My camera keeps stopping recording, I don't know where I left off, but basically I'm not going to pull in a new palette. I actually just got another new palette, um, this is from the brand Sheena, Sheena B, I just got this in PR, and there's a palette in here too, and I haven't looked at it yet, but we can look at it now and see, so this looks like it's their Miami palette. Oh, beautiful. So pretty. I love these shimmers up here. Okay, this might be the one I reach for a lot. So, gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, and then they also sent me a couple of like beauty sponges. And then the confetti is so cute, it's like, little pink flamingos. This is a blush and highlighter palette. Oh, so pretty. Ooh, I love that one. It's like a nude, a nude matte blush rosa. That looks like it could be a bronzer. Just a nice, ooh, this is pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. I love that. Thank you so much. These are so pretty. Okay, so. That said, I'm definitely gonna be pulling those in kind of throughout the month. I also got a couple of other PR um, from Octoly. Uh, these are lip products which we haven't gotten to yet, but since I just pulled into my PR stuff, this Grande Cosmetics um, Plumping Lip Gloss, you can see I have one I took out of here. It's living in my purse right now because it's so stinking good, you guys. I pulled the like mauve pink one in, 
but this also came with a clear one and a nude one. So that's currently living in my purse. And then um, Lan comes sent me one of their lip glosses. I have actually used this lip gloss before. So I guess I have a backup now or one for a giveaway, but it's just a really pretty, perfect for spring like nude. So I'm actually gonna throw this in my everyday drawer too so I use it a little bit more. Um, okay, so that's eyeshadow. And then for cheeks, I do wanna pull in my Charlotte Tilbury palette. I haven't pulled it in in a while. So instead of another Hourglass palette, I'm gonna pull, oh, that's Kevin Aquan. Here's my Charlotte Tilbury one. This is per whoops, perfect because the blushes are more on the sheer side. So I feel like they're kind of good for spring because I can sheer them out. And then there's two highlighters, an all over face color, and a bronzer as well. So I'm going to put that in the drawer and then I'm going to reach for the uh, Sheena B one also because it's so pretty. So, okay, I think those are all the products I'm going to pull in from here. So as far as lip products go, this is where my lip products live and in that same Sephora bag, I have like three new lipsticks I have bought this past weekend. Some of the new Too Faced like peachy matte ones I have and then I have a MAC lipstick. So I think I'm gonna just leave these in here aside from the Lancome one that I just threw in my drawer. Um, and then I can always reach over here and grab one if I need one, but I think I'm good for lip products. And then for setting sprays, I've been loving my Tatcha. So I think I'm just gonna continue to love on my Tatcha. Um, it sits on my vanity. This is perfect for like spraying on my beauty blender before I set my under eyes. Love that. And then this is the only hydrating setting spray I have. It's the Too Faced Hangover. Um, sorry, I didn't realize it was a little bit blurry. Um, so I'm gonna leave this too. So I think I'm good in the setting spray department as well. And I also have a new one that I just bought. So I think we're good there. Okay, so cheap products I will put in here. So I got my highlighter, my blushes, bronzer, and then for eye products, I have my new eyeliner, so I have a black and a brown now. I have some pencils, another mascara, and then two cream shadows, and then for concealer, I have that one. For foundation, I have my MAC, and then for setting powder, I have this, and then here's just my lip gloss. So I think that's it, I think we're good. So I hope you guys watched, or <laughs> I hope you guys watched. Well, clearly if you're still watching, you watched. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Shop My Stash video. If you like these kinds of videos, I will link my playlist for you in the description box so that you can check out more. And I think that's it. Happy spring, everybody, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.